In the assessment of chest x-ray, three patterns are typically evaluated. Reticular, which indicates interstitial lung diseases, nodular, and consolidation, which is characterized by airspace disease displaying features like air bronchogram, silhouette signs, and diminished visibility of blood vessels. This chest x-ray reveals tiny granular reticular shadows located in the lower right lung field. It is commonly found in conditions such as interstitial pulmonary fibrosis, collagen vascular disease, and asbestosis. Nodular lesions on a chest x-ray can be characterized as either cavitary or non-cavitary. Cavitary lesions can be seen in fungal infection and tuberculosis. Non-cavitary lesions can be seen in sarcoidosis, necrosis, and coal workers' pneumocognosis. This x-ray shows left-sided consolidation. Consolidation is evident in conditions such as pneumonia, lymphoma, bronchoalveolar carcinoma. This x-ray shows pneumothorax, which is identifiable on chest x-ray by the reduced density and volume of lung on the right side. It is characterized by the absence of lung markings and the presence of air in the pleural space. This x-ray displays the presence of air beneath the diaphragm, a condition that could indicate a presence of gastrointestinal perforation. This x-ray exhibits features indicative of heart failure. There is enlargement of cardiothoracic ratio, which is more than 50% of overall diameter, blunting of costophrenic angle, which shows pleurofusion, alveolar edema, curly B lines, representing increased fluid in pulmonary interstitium, bronchoalveolar coughing, suggesting an accumulation of fluid in the small airways, cephalization of vessels demonstrating a redistribution of blood in the vessels often seen in heart failure. The presence of dense opacification in the lung fields with a concave meniscus is a characteristic sign of pleural fusion. To visualize this on posterior anterior foam, it typically requires more than 200 ml of pleural fluid on a PA view. On lateral view, an effusion exceeding 50 ml can lead to the blunting of posterior costophrenic angle. In a supine position, the fluid tends to manifest as a general haziness across the lung fields. This x-ray, which we are seeing right now, has pleurofusion, and we can see it on posterior anterior view. This x-ray displays a predominantly nodular opacity pattern particularly noticeable in the upper lung zones with the possibility of accompanying hyalur adenopathy, which is uh, commonly seen in sarcoidosis. This x-ray reveals signs of pulmonary hypertension notably characterized by the enlargement of central pulmonary arteries. Additionally, it shows cardiac changes attributed to right ventricular enlargement. This x-ray shows bilateral interstitial pneumonitis, a condition frequently associated with mycoplasma pneumonia. This x-ray exhibits Pulmonary infiltrates indicating the likelihood of low bar pneumonia, a condition frequently associated with the streptococcal pneumonia. This x-ray displays signs indicative of emphysema, which is characterized by an increased anterior posterior diameter, flattening of hemidiaphragm, heightened peripheral vascular markings. This x-ray shows bronchitis. We can see here increased uh, bronchoalveolar marking and increased cardiothoracic ratio. These x-rays reveal signs suggestive of pulmonary embolism. Watermark sign, which is in the first x-ray, displaying the dilatation of pulmonary vessels proximal to the embolism alongside the collapse of distal vessels.
Additionally, the presence of a Hampton's hump, which is in the second X-ray, characterized by a cone-shaped area of peripheral opacification, typically signifies infarction. Thanks for watching. Do not forget to like and subscribe.